What's going on? Welcome to Tech with Sean. And I was recently looking at some retro gaming stuff on Amazon when this popped up in my recommended feed. It's a multi-cart, the Super 101 and 1. Now for only 25 bucks, it says it has over 100 games and lets you save the RPGs and stuff on a battery. So let's take a look at it and see if it's worth checking out. All right, let's get into it now. Our cartridge it fits right into a North American Super Nintendo. Oh, I don't have the power hooked up. <laughs> All right, now we got the power hooked up. And as soon as you turn this thing on, it boots right to a text-based menu of the different games. So let's take a look at some of them and see how they run. All right, I guess let's start off by just going through the games and seeing what's on here. We got Actraiser, Aladdin, Alien vs. Predator, Arkanoid, don't know what baseball that is, <laughs> maybe Baseball Stars? I don't know. Batman Returns, Biker Mice from Mars, Biometal, that's a shmup. Oh, I went backwards. Whoop. This is a kind of a weird menu. Blackthorn, Bomberman, Breath of Fire, Bust a Move, I love that one. Captain Novolin. Caravan Shoot. Uh, we got both Castlevanias. Choplifter, Chrono Trigger, Clue, Columns for Genesis, I guess. Congo's Caper, uh, Contra 3, Cyberspin, Earthbound, Earthworm Gym 2, EVO. That's the cool RPG where you play as like. Uh, organism going through evolution. Family Feud, Fatal Fury 2, uh, Final Fight 3, Final Fight, Final Fantasy 3 and 2. So these are the North American Final Fantasy 2 and 3. And then over on the next page, this is Final Fantasy 4. This is actually Final Fantasy 4 Easy Type, the Japanese version. And I think it's like a fan translation of that. So it's basically Final Fantasy 2 again. Because I think the North American version was like Easy Type. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. We got Firefighter, First Samurai, Frogger, Ghouls and Ghosts, um, Goof Troop, that's a good one. Gradius 3, Harvest Moon. Oh, I keep going backwards. Home Alone. Hunt for Red October, Hyperzone, Illusion of Gaia, Incantation, Indiana Jones, James Bond Jr., Jeopardy. So there are some burners on here, but I'd say probably at least half of the games are good. I'm not sure what Jurassic Park 2 is. Did Super Nintendo get a second Jurassic Park game? Uh, that's Killer Instinct. Um, Kiwame. I think that Kiwame might be a Mahjong game. Uh, Krusty's something. Krusty's Funhouse, probably. Lion King, Lost Vikings. Lufia 2, that's a good one. I think that's Micro Machines, which is actually a pretty decent racing game. I could be wrong. Magical Quest with Mickey Mouse, another Mahjong game. Mario All Stars. Mario World. We got a couple Mega Mans. We got Super Metroid. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Mortal Kombat 2 and 3. NBA Jam. Ogre Battle. Hack Attack. Pac Man. Paperboy 2. Um, Qbert 3. R Type. I think this is Super R Type, not R Type 3, unfortunately. Rock and Roll Racing, Secret of Mana, Street Fighter 2, SimCity, Smash TV, Sunset Riders, that's another good one. I think this one that says Super Mario, I think that's Mario Kart. Tom and Jerry, Top Gear, Turrican. Turtles 4, that's one of the best uh, beat-em-ups on Super Nintendo, I think. Wild Guns, that's a hard-to-find game. Wings 2, 
not the best game. <laughs> That's, uh, it's like they kind of just picked some random games like Zoop and Wings 2. I mean, oh well. Zombies Ate My Neighbors. They got a bunch of good ones on there though, so, you know, that's worth something. So one of the big features of this is the battery save. And um, I haven't used this cartridge for about a week, so I'm gonna go ahead and load it up and see if my Zelda save is still on there. It does take just a second to load the games. Um, not very long, I'd say maybe like five to 10 seconds for most games. And yeah, there's my save. It's been out of the system, um, just sitting on the shelf for like a week or so, so it kept my save at least that long. If you are wondering how I have this hooked up, it's running on the Nintendo official S-Video cables, and then it's going into the Sony Trinitron. So it puts out a pretty good picture on the Super Nintendo. Okay, that was Zelda. Now let's take a look at something else. Um, what do we got? How about Chrono Trigger? A couple of RPGs like this, I mean, if you just want to play them, you, you know, you're up into the multiple hundreds of dollars by the time you buy them, so something like this might not be a bad value if you're just looking to play some of these games. Chrono Trigger has a classic intro. They sure don't make RPGs like they used to. This is such a memorable game. Luca, how could you forget her name? Come on, Mom. Well, this could easily turn into a Chrono Trigger Let's Play, but we ain't got time for that in this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and move along to the next game. But Chrono Trigger runs great. Let's take a look at a beat em up. Let's load up Final Fight 3. Capcom was on fire back in the 90s. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Guy beating him up. Oh. Yeah. Billy never knew what hit him. Neither did Johnny. Uh oh, it just got real spoopy in here. Time for a creepy hallway fight. This is a Capcom game. This part kind of has some Resident Evil vibes or something. Yo, that dude should be in demolition because that's some cost-effective remodeling right there. Just do a couple roundhouses, throw up some sheets of drywall, slap some paint on it, you'll be good to go. Okay, we're back on the menu. Let's try some ghouls and ghosts. If I'm talking and playing ghouls and ghosts, I'll probably last about, I don't even know, 30 seconds before I die? We'll see. This game's really hard. All the ghouls and ghosts games are. A lot of people think this is actually Ghouls and Ghosts just on the Super Nintendo, but Super Ghouls and Ghosts is a whole new game. It's like a sequel to Ghouls and Ghosts. Oh, that was not worth it. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
At least I got 500 points. That'll do me a lot of good when I die in about 30 seconds. I actually don't like this weapon that much. It's hard to shoot everything at an angle. Oh. Yeah. I'm no good at this one. Next, we will load up some NBA Jam. Why not? I'm kind of interested to see if this is normal NBA Jam. Okay, no, this is the tournament edition. So this is like the kind of improved version where they added more characters. I don't remember the birthdays and the codes, but I think Tournament Edition might be the one where you can unlock Bill Clinton and Al Gore. That was always hilarious. You get somebody and then like put the Bill Clinton mask on him and then slam dunk it and break the backboard. <laughs> this was fun in the arcade too. I was like playing in Seattle uh, in this game because you got Sean Kemp and then you got like Detlef Shrimp and Gary Payton and both of them are real good. And then who else? I think Chicago was always really good on here and um, man I forget who else. There were some really good ones though. It's hard to go wrong with NBA Jam though, it's a classic. You gotta get your dunk on. Ah. Uh, too soon. The layup. That's almost a dunk, but that's not what we came to NBA Jam for. I gotta at least get one good dunk off. Boom! Razzle Dazzle. That was kind of a mediocre dunk. I don't know how much Razzle Dazzle it had. Let's do some real Razzle Dazzle. Oh! Oh! No, I need that. I'm gonna be on fire. Come on. No! Alright. They stole my fire from me. Time to switch games. Alright, let's fire this up and see which R-Type this is. I'm guessing Super R-Type, but maybe it is R-Type 3. That would be cool. Nope, Super R-Type. It's not the best R-Type, but it's still pretty good. I actually have a lot of nostalgia for this one because this is one of the games that we owned when I was a kid. It's not amazing. I like it more than Gradius 3. I'll give it that. I know that's sacrilege to some. I like the more detailed graphics. It has bigger sprites and stuff. The music on this game is pretty good too. The R-Type games usually have some pretty decent soundtracks. Uh oh, here's this mofo. Ah, uh, what a noob mistake. All right, one last one we'll take a look at. Let's uh, load up this Street Fighter 2 and see which version it is. Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Hyper Fighting. This is a good one. I'm gonna I'm gonna Hadouken them and then probably Dragon Punch them. We'll see how it goes. If all else fails, spam Hadoukens. Usually works. Did you know that in Japan, 
M. Bison was who we call Sagat. Or wait, no. How did that work? Who we call Balrog was called M. Bison because he looks kind of like Mike Tyson. But then they changed it here, I guess, because they didn't want him to sue him. So then they changed M. Bison to Balrog. So that's kind of crazy. And one last game. I know a lot of people might be looking at this because they want to play Earthbound. So we'll go ahead and fire it up and see how it works. I actually had this game growing up, so I'm quite a big fan of it myself. I like the kind of simple yet innovative battle system, how it has the rolling hit point meter. Um, it's kind of, you know, Dragon Quest-ish, but a little more complex. Man, that text is nice and crisp on the S-Video cables. This game's great. It's like spooky. It has so many memorable and creative little towns. Um, the story is good. It's got like a solid turn-based battle system. If you're looking for a Super Nintendo RPG and you never played this, definitely give it a shot, even if it's just on, you know, a Super Nintendo Classic or an emulator or however you play it. All right, well, that was a look at the Super 101 and 1 multi-cart for the Super Nintendo. I think, you know, if you're real serious about playing everything, you probably just want to go ahead and get an EverDrive or something. It's not going to replace, like, that feeling of owning Chrono Trigger or Earthbound, but it's going to let you play them if that's all you want to do. Also, maybe you have a collection and you like playing it with your family, but you don't want your kids messing up your games. You know, you could get this cheap cartridge say hey kids you know you can play this green one all you want and it's going to give them a library of stuff to play through or maybe you're just a cheap ass and you're like hey i paid ten dollars for the super nintendo at a yard sale i'm not paying one thousand times more for some game i had growing up that i want to play then hey this will let you play that game on your system either way i hope you like this video if you did give us a like if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Thank mm -hmm. you.